Hello friends, it's uh, Boris Legendary and it's time for a uh, weekly recap. Once again, I'm back after a while. It's, uh, well, being a competitive player is not always rhyming with uh, consistent uploads, but we played a national friendly against Spain and we beat them with the 5-1. That was a nice result in the new 2 vs 2 format and also I was in a city in Europe to sign for my new esports uh, organization which will be announced uh, this Monday. But yes, I also played some weekly league of course and managed to get the top 100 again. Uh, once again a pretty narrow escape. But we made it uh, back to back the top 100 and this is the team for the weekend which was, well, three changes, actually four changes. A new keeper trying out Ter Stegen, I think he's the best keeper in the game. Also we tried out the Pogba instead of Kante. We also had Sadio Mane instead of um, Mbappé and also of course the GOAT arrived, uh, Lionel Messi. And yes, of course, uh, this is not uh, what we use in the game. We played uh, three different formations uh, this weekend. The first one, which was the main one, was a diamond 4 one 2 one 2 With the same instructions as I showed you last uh, week that I used on PS4 with the drop back between defenders for the CDM and the getting behind for the strikers. And also for the custom tactics with the diamond, uh, just the same as I showed you once again on PS4. Using drop back because, well, um, I just feel that like it's hard to press uh, no matter what, and also the fact that um, the gameplay is very, very bad at the moment, and I feel that it is hard to cover the through balls uh, without uh, sometimes getting the extra help from the drop back tactic. But we're still using high values, as you will see in the game later. We can still apply some great uh, pressure. So, this is not really the typical drop back uh, thing as you would imagine the very destructive and terrible way to play FIFA no and also we have uh, the 4 2 3 one uh, that I'm using uh, well uh, ultra defensive and it looks like this having of course Pogba and Blanc on the midfield and Neymar as a cam even though I wanted to play Messi as a cam but I did not really have time to make uh, that change and custom tactics for this one Looks like this, uh, same as with the diamond in the defense, we have a drop back 6-6, uh, six, six, but in attack we play a bit more compact, because this is used mainly against players that play drop back, a very low depth, so very hard to, well, create chances perhaps, they have very compact defense, so we also have to try to have some more compact values in the attack, and also make sure that they can uh, score from their cheap through balls. So instructions also for the 4-3-1 we have getting behind for the striker, default for the camps, cut passing lanes and also stay back for the CDMs and for the fullbacks but very often in the game I will activate the d-pad quick tactics which is attacking fullbacks. And last we have also the 4 triple 2 which I also used a lot this weekend and uh, well getting behind for the strikers here as well. Same with the CDMs and the fullbacks as for the 4-2-3-1. And finally the tactics are a bit more aggressive. You can see here in the defense using press at the possession loss and also 6 in depth and 6 in width. So I just combined these th three tactics this week and depending on my opponents and depending also how the game looked and some of course the conditions that you cannot affect like uh, connection. But yeah, I like this team a lot. Uh, I will try to go for Eusebio though because I'm a bit tired of uh, Doug Lee. She always hits the post. Money was uh, great though. I will keep him in the team. You can see here also his stats. He was solid playing uh, left center mid uh, and also left attacking mid in the team. So a bit, uh, well, not really the most central position. But still some nice stats, he was very physical, very agile and very responsive which is of course nice in this gameplay. And also Messi's stats are pretty good, he played right attacking mid. And I feel that the wingers will always be a bit cut off if he was playing as a cam here of course, the central cam. He would have much better stats but still he is magical in FIFA 20, his movements and his, his finesse shots are just from a different planet. And also Paul Pogba instead of Kanté, a bit taller, a bit, well, a lot taller and a bit more physical but not as quick on the ball. A bit heavy sometimes but I still like him having Blanc and Pogba on the midfield that are, well, two spiders so it's very hard to get past them with the incredible range of these two, actually four legs combined. We had a pretty nice matchmaking this weekend, well you can call it, uh, did not really face any monster squads as we did the first weekend. But this was still a good opponent here with uh, Grizu, Mbappé and Pogba. And uh, well, we'll get uh, the first goal, Daglish just using some stepovers uh, to 
uh, distract a bit and also we get well a bit lucky with this rebound it happens a lot against us and when we score these goals we just have to celebrate but um, this is good uh, defending though and you see that despite being on drop back we have high depth which means that we can still pressure if we're being active and manual in our defense this is not really like i said the typical drop back tactic that we're playing here but uh, this time he will defend uh, this attack and he will actually score one goal here which is a bit unfortunate for us this um, interception turns out to be a perfect assist to his Neymar but after this uh, we will show some uh, good defending after uh, well Griezmann tries to get past Blanc we're just staying calm and we're gonna get a counter attack from this even though that we will slow down the pace a little bit we're just uh, trying to do something on the midfield getting a bit lucky here but this is the key of the whole attack this small drag back pass so we're just exiting the drag back and making a pass in the middle in the middle of the motion which completely outsmarts his defense and we get the goal from Kenny Dalglish and after this we're gonna open up well the game will open up we'll get some more space um, this is a nice a tactical fake shot uh, just using uh, the R1 tactical fake shot stop you could call it um, but yes uh, a bit unlucky this time hitting the woodwork but um, we're gonna get this second wave and uh, just passing it once again the drag back uh, pass and the first time fake shot opens up his defense and from this he will actually decide to rage quit. Alright, the time for the next opponent uh, with a nice hybrid, the three different leagues he had. Uh, you can see here Bundesliga up front uh, and also La Liga and League uh, Uber Eats. That is a pretty nice hybrid and we managed, well, we're gonna showcase once again our pressure play with uh, drop back. I'm not very proud of playing drop back, but it's working good at the moment. It feels like it's meta and once again I just want to show you that we're not really playing the destructive and what you would think okay this is a drop back way we're still trying to press a lot being active in our pressure and um, using a lot of player switching but yeah i might change that later to something else but that is just how the game is at the moment and the servers are extremely bad and it doesn't really uh, allow you to play in many different ways uh, in the defense but um, Mess here, some great movements, and this is nice. Just we can spot this pass already. We need the vision in attack. We can see okay, Dalglish is on the run. We can be one step ahead of the uh, opponent, finding this one touch pass and also one touch finish from King Kenny Dalglish. That is actually, well, he's actually going to leave the club after this weekly league. But this was great from Kenny, but this is the reason why he's leaving because he always hits the post. Something is wrong. With this item but overall he is fantastic uh, in a lot of different areas um, a very fast agile uh, good passing as well and well finishing is questionable but uh, this was a bit unfortunate for us just taking just uh, leaves this uh, rebound open from a tough angle but we get this uh, lofted ground pass into the box and Neymar with some left stick uh, turning and twisting finds uh, two one and also after this we'll find one more Messi here with the drag back and uh, well as a nice finesse shot Messi has some really incredible finishing and people well people know that because I see that his uh, price is rising a lot and also here we are taking uh, care of this player we're always watching and uh, trying to look out for these uh, through balls and uh, well being on six on depth despite playing drop back you will have to watch out for these uh, through balls and we did it very well and also here with the player stick is switching always trying to apply pressure on the ball holder without uh, rushing and being um, well not really stupid but being naive in the defense and from this uh, nice uh, uh, defense we get this uh, tactical fake shot stop and a nice uh, finesse shot finish from Neymar for post he will get um, one goal back, uh, a bit questionable from the referee, but uh, yeah, 4-2 was a final uh, result in this uh, nice game and he will also apologize, I respect that. But yes, uh, this guy was really good, I think this was uh, probably the best uh, player I faced uh, this weekend and I think he was at 22-2 and at this moment. Um, even though I beat also one guy that was 19-0, and I felt that this was... Um, the hardest matchup and uh, this is uh, great from him just uh, speed boost getting past our defense but the testing shows 
some great skills. But yes, he created some uh, great chances. This was, uh, well, this should have been a goal. Even though uh, Varane should have made, made that tackle. I was a bit surprised uh, not seeing that ball going into the net. Instead, we're gonna get a bit fortunate. Uh, this is very shitty. We're just gonna take it. Pogba scores 1-0 uh, and I felt okay that was very much needed in this tough game. Uh, but this is some uh, great defense. You can see how we're always switching here, trying to be active in the defense without rushing it. And this is actually a perfect uh, example of a two versus two defending with two strikers and two center backs. But uh, he will get the one back and he had Son and Son is just so annoying to face. He gets uh, so much with him. And also Musa Sissokoa is a beast and he scores 1-1. One, one. And I can see a lot of goals from kickoff uh, but this time I'll actually finally manage to score one myself. Uh, with the messages uh, running past uh, he gets this AI block but we get the ball back and uh, King Kenny scores 2-1. Uh, but it was not over yet, uh, Son here makes a nice uh, little flick, he finds the ball into the box and this is so hard to defend but we managed to stay calm without using contain, just trying, just trying to mirroring his movements uh, with the jockey and the left stick and uh, also that was going to be the last big chance of the game and we managed to see this out, a very tough game. We get a 2-1 win. Next up uh, we actually have a Swedish player which, well, he is very talented. Uh, I know this guy from uh, Gothia E Cup um, and, uh, well, I knew that this was going to be a pretty tough game but we played uh, really fantastic in this one uh, from the start, uh, having very high tempo and um, also challenging his defense with a lot of skill moves. Here Teus on the wing. Actually, I forgot to mention that Teus is also a new player in the team. But he was uh, temporary because I, well, I used him only the last uh, 15 games. But uh, great pressure here. We had uh, 4 triple 2 which uh, had, of course, a press after possession loss. And we managed to get uh, this goal from uh, that kind of uh, pressuring technique. But yes, uh, Alex Teus, he, uh, he is good. But I think that Alexandro is better than I even think that Felal Mendy 80 rated is better. I just wanted to have a full chemistry on uh, Neymar because with the Mendy he had uh, 8 and I didn't have the coins for uh, Alexandro. But uh, great defense here and from this uh, defense we will get uh, the chance to seal the deal in this game. Also we will activate attacking fullbacks despite leading 2-0. I feel that uh, well it is definitely possible because he plays heavy drop back and he cannot uh, challenge us from the counter attacks and this is actually a great attack finding this driven pass tap in which is one of my favorite ways of scoring goals in FIFA 20 and I'll also release a tutorial about how to use this technique in a perfect way and also perfect way to finish this game it was um, over after 40 minutes in the end it ended 5-1 but it was a pretty slow pace in that the second half and uh, this was actually the last game for me for top 100 this guy was uh, not bad but we really managed to uh, clutch up and uh, here also always being observant always being uh, alert and this will give us almost this first goal that is an incredible tackle from him and that was actually also a manual block which uh, definitely told that this was a player that knew what he did in his game but uh, Messi here getting past and this time we'll find just a simple X pass and the first time shot from Mane with that important goal and Alex Tejas here shows some uh, great defending I'm not trying to criticize him in any ways he was he was good he was uh, definitely good but not my favorite left back. I think he only has a two star weak foot. But uh, Messi here finds money, and this is a great way, once again, that the driven pass happen is a fantastic way of scoring goals. And that was pretty much it. And he will also, and I'm not sure what happened here, uh, maybe he gave up already, just thinking that, okay, we cannot get past. This defense or his controller died. <laughs> I really don't know, but uh, we didn't really care at this point. We only wanted to get that the top 100 and Kenny, King Kenny of course, he's going to hit the post but this time his last shot in the club ended up uh, in the net thanks to his defender and that was also going to be after this uh, rage quit. 
Alright, so let's take a look at our defeat of the week. The first defeat was within the first 10 games on the stream. And this was from, well, from Stockholm this weekend where I only managed to, well, I couldn't stream but I was recording the games. This guy had Cristiano up front and he was making big, big trouble and this is a bit, uh, well... I misread this pass with Militao and he gets free and scores this first goal. He had some great composure in front of the goal, not like us in this game. Uh, but this is also a great tackle from his uh, keeper. And this almost ended up in a funny way, but he will uh, escape by the skin of his teeth. And he will also score 2-1. It's a great pass, I didn't, didn't see this coming and from here it was of course very tough. But it's gonna get even worse after this. He will just uh, run past. Uh, I'm not sure what, what is happening here. But here of course I should have cleared the ball. But I was maybe a bit frustrated after this um, two goal deficit. But in the end yes. We're trailing with the three goals. And from here it is uh, very tough in FIFA 20. With uh, well the possibilities of uh, keeping possession you can see here also the first uh, half uh, he was very effective three shots and three goals uh, but he was yeah i mean he was very good this is uh, bad defending we are pushing up without uh, covering up this um, gap and he scores a 4-1 shows some great composure once again but we will almost make a great comeback uh, first the three touch spin to messi Finding 4-2, uh, we have some contact and also changing up our instructions, uh, instructions and tactics a little bit because we got some hope after this, of course, um, after getting that goal. So we're going to more um, players in the box and also some uh, more um, aggressive and attacking tactics uh, for our CDMs. And this is a bit funny. <laughs> uh, we're scoring 4-3 and here I really thought, okay, we'll make this comeback. But after this, um, he really managed to find... Uh, uh, well the calmness and this is great defending from him he, he I, I thought he was going to choke after this but he showed the really overall this game some uh, great composure he stayed calm um, despite that mistake and well he managed to beat us uh, rightfully And uh, we also had a nice uh, comeback uh, against Dilly Dilly, and his uh, name in the game was uh, D D, which is well, it can also be dynamic difficulty or something. But that song is just uh, so hard to face. And um, well, this was not the best defense. It just opens up a big gap in the middle, and he finds uh, the way through very easily. And once again, these through balls, you have to stop them. It's such a cheap way. Of conceding goals and we did it twice this game but after this we did something very smart we didn't rush it we didn't stress it the no team press and no crazy tactics we just went back to basics so we went from the diamond to the 4-2-3-1 our most defensive tactic and just stayed calm and tried to just find to uh, find back to our best gameplay and we did it very well and within uh, the first half we managed to make a fantastic comeback too 3-2 and it actually even escalated in the end uh, well you can see here the scoreline at this point it is 5-2 and it will get even worse for him 6-2 was definitely the final nail in the coffin a great uh, comeback and in the end you can see that we finished with 28 wins which is enough for top 100 on xbox at the moment and we finished actually number 90 <laughs> so number 98 and number 90 but that is back-to-back -to -back top 100 placements. So yes, that's it for today. I will be back with some more uploads this weekend. I have a 100k team. I also have a tutorial coming this weekend for that the doing pass tap-in and also of course a pack opening from this weekend league. Otherwise you can of course see me live on Twitch. I will be streaming this weekend league on Xbox and also some games on PS4. And the link is down in the description below. But yes, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and as always, you know, until next time.